let's get rid of this ugly eyesore today. And before you click away because yours doesn't look like this setup, maybe it's not on the ground, it's actually on your roof, we'll go over the differences between this project and doing it on your roof. There's not too much, but I promise that you'll learn something new from this video and it will help you out so that you can take on this as it's very easy, very simple, and let's jump into it. So quickly, let's just talk about how these things even work. So the company that's on there, so like DirecTV, has a satellite out in space that sends a signal and it bounces off this concave shaped dish. And then those signals all fi funnel here into what's known as the LMD, the low noise block down converter, which is just fancy language to say that it takes the signal from here, amplifies it, and then down converts it to fancy scientific nomenclature known as L band. And that basically is good for the kind of cabling that goes into your house called coax cable. And that's it. So basically it's just a cool little funnel. It takes that signal, bounces it here to the LMB, travels down the coax cable into your house and then into your devices. So pretty simple, but really cool technology. But unfortunately it's very ugly and I don't have direct TV or need for it. Everything's all about streaming, so let's get rid of it. Of course you can always ask the service provider if they want it back. I double checked in with direct TV and they said, nope, all you, it's your on your property, it's yours. You know, feel free to do what you want with it. So I'm gonna just take it off and uh, get rid of it. You're more than welcome to see if they'll take it back or maybe somebody else will want it. But the likelihood is no one's gonna want it and it's just junk. So let's take it off. So what you can do first is you can actually just cut the wire, the black wire you see there, that's just the coax cable. I'll show you another way where you can actually just take it off at the uh, splitter. But you can honestly just cut it depending on your situation. And all the tools I use in this will be linked in the description box below so you can easily find it and get this job done yourself. So if you want to just disconnect the coax cable, maybe reuse it, or you just don't like cutting things, you can see there that little black wire, we just follow it down. See there, it just rides along the ground and then we can just follow where it leads to the side of the house. All right, so we followed our coax cable. You can see here it zip ties up, comes up to here, ignore this mess right here. It just loops around and around here and then goes up here to the splitter. And all the splitter does is it takes that uh, reception here from the satellite dish, comes in here and then splits the signal evenly. As you can see, it has these out sources here to, in this case, just two different places, but obviously yours can have more. So we can either cut this cable with side cutters because basically a coax is just a special cabling that the way it's set up and engineered is to block any interference, which is why you get you know a pretty consistent and clear picture. So you can just cut it if you'd like, or if you want to reuse it, all we need to do is remove the nut right here, which you can take off with your wrench, or it usually is finger tight. So let's see if I can loosen it. You can also use your adjustable pliers to get that off. As you can see here within the coax, they have a ground, so we can remove that with our Phillips head. And now our coax cabling is free. You can chop this up any way you want. The way I'm gonna do it is just the simplest way possible so with removing the least amount of things. So you can see here, there's a leg here, and there's a bolt right there that I'm gonna remove. And then right here on this, the back mounting leg, there's one bolt there and one bolt down there. I'm just gonna remove those three things and get this thing taken off. First nut is half inch. Half inch for these as well.
like we have a ground cable there. Get that off. This is 5 16 Let's make it faster. So now we're down to the last bolt. Honestly, I might personally recommend, since the dish will probably be facing you if you're on the roof, to do the ones in the back first and then take out the bolt in the front. That way you're ready and you're not fully slumped over trying to get this thing off. Almost missed this last screw here on this arm. Now, if yours is on the ground, you might need to do this step. If yours is on the roof, you'll definitely need to do this step. But in my case, it's just this bracket, so we're basically done here. But I wanted to show you, just in case yours is mounted here with these feet. All you need to do, you'll see at the corners, on this one, obviously since it's on the ground, they only had one. And I need a bigger screw gun to do that. But for these other ones here, this is probably what your original will look like on the roof. You have all these machine screws here in there. Get your 5 16 Voila. That's how you remove the foot. This is likely what you'll see on the roof. Here's your two options for once you take this off. You either need to replace the shingle, which I know might seem a little daunting, but there's plenty of YouTube videos out there on how to do it, or you can just pay a roofing company. That way, at least you do the satellite dish and then you only have to pay for them replacing the shingle. Or option two, which is less preferable, but also an option, is you can either fill the holes with uh, roofing cement or weatherproof caulking. Again, that's your decision on how you wanna proceed. The best option is to just replace those shingles with holes, but that's it. Literally, those things are just screwed into the roof and your satellite dish is gone. Now you might look at this and say, oh, what the heck am I supposed to do now with all this nice scrap metal? Well, either A, find a project for it, B, trash it, C, bring it to your landfill and get some, uh, the usual pay you for recycling the metal. It might not be too much, but hey, might as well get a little something, something for it. Or if you just want it out of your hands, post it on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace as free scrap metal, and you'd be surprised how fast it will go. If you learned anything, let me know by showing your support. Give this video a like and subscribe if it was helpful. Any questions or comments, please put them down below. I appreciate you watching. Catch you in the next video. And who knows, there might be somebody in your area that could use the LNB, so you could just give it away. And if you want to just take that out, just lift up on this latch, pull it out, And then we just have to remove the coax cable. Or if you're like me, you see this is a gold mine of free bolts and screws that you can take and then let somebody get that scrap metal. Now we can dispose of this old satellite dish. This area is now completely cleaned off and I got some free hardware. Yep. Don't worry. Maybe in 20 years I'll use one of those bolts for something. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.